Hi everyone, thanks for tuning back in. I'm going to take a quick detour back into Sheetset Manager because I received a very interesting question. Can you still use Sheetset Manager and create a sheet set even if all your drawings are consolidated onto one file? And my answer was definitely yes. So I created a new file called All Plans and I've added the four plans I've been working with so I can show you exactly how I would do that. The first step is to draw a frame around each one of your drawings and add it to the layer def points. Then I'm going to to start creating views. So I'll hit the V key then the space bar on my keyboard. Then I'll click new. My first view is going to be the as built plan. Then I'll select define window and I'll define this window right here. Hit enter. Okay. I'll do it again. New demolition plan. I can either select define window or click this icon. Define window. Enter. Okay. And I'll do the same thing for the two other plans. So now I have one view for each one of my plans. I'll click OK. And since all your drawings are consolidated onto one single file, it might be more useful for you to have your sheets on that same file as well. So I'll go to Layout, right click, select From Template, and I'll select the file where my sheet template is, which is Title Blocks. Click Open, select my layout, click OK, and my sheet appears here. Now I want to duplicate that, so I'll right click it, select move or copy, check mark create a copy, then select move to end, click OK, and another one appears. Now I'll hold the control key and select both layouts, right click, move or copy, and now I have four layouts for my four plans. I'll delete layout one and two, and now I'll rename those layouts by double clicking. Now it's time to add those new blank sheets onto a sheet set. So first I'll save the file and I'll hit SSM on my keyboard to open Sheet Set Manager. I'll click this drop down, go to New Sheet Set, select an example sheet set, next, New Sheet Set, next. I'll call it Example Sheet Set. And this is the correct path where I want it to be saved. Click Next, Finish. So my new sheet set appeared here. I'm going to right click it, select import layout as sheet, browse for drawings and go to my all plans file, which I have open right here. Click open. So it lists all my layouts here and they're all check marked, import checked and they appear as sheets right here. Now I'll right click my sheet set again, select properties and I'll start filling in the project information. Label block for views. I'll click this icon and browse for it in my drawing standards file. Choose blocks in the drawing file, select view label block, which is the block we created two videos ago. Click OK. Project number 004, project name Miley Cyrus, because why not? I don't need to worry about sheet creation here because I already created all my sheets on my drawing file. Then I'll go to edit custom properties, add revision date and revision number. Okay, scroll down, they appear here. I'll edit their values, revision date 01 06 2025, revision number four. Click OK, and I'll zoom in here before I regenerate. R E, enter, magic. Except for the drawing number, which I need to enter manually by right clicking my sheet, selecting rename and renumber. My first sheet number is 01, next 02. As you can see, they've updated here, and if I hit RE again, it's synchronized here as well. Now it's time to add my views, so I'll go to Model Views, Add New Location, and browse for the folder where my All Plans file is saved. Click Open. I'll go to All Plans, click the plus sign, and my four views appear right here. And I'll start placing my views in the correct order, so I'll go to As Built Plan, select my As Built View, drag it in, right click, 1 to 50, Place, Click OK, double click inside, turn off the grid, click the padlock, double click outside. And as you can see, it came with the view label block because I already had specified that in my sheet set properties. Now I'll go to sheet views, click the plus sign next to as built, right click, rename and renumber, adjust my view details. RE, voila. Now I'll do the exact same thing for the rest of my sheets. So I'll go to demolition plan. Now you have a single file that has all your drawings in model space as well as all your sheets as layouts. The reason why I personally don't have all my drawings on one file is because I use them as external references for each other. If you're not sure how that works, stay tuned. I'm going to go over that in my next video.